everyone, welcome to another vlog. I just arrived in the city of Kamenets Podiski in western Ukraine. We got here at about 6 a.m. from Kiev. I'm gonna be here with my aunt for about two days. We're gonna be checking out the old castle here in the medieval town. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Guys, check out this beautiful view. All right, so we're walking over to the castle right now. Uh, we're walking around the old medieval bridge uh, that leads up to the castle. I was actually here in Kamenets Podiski about 10 years ago. I was traveling with my family, but I decided to come back now that I'm doing travel vlogs. This little viewpoint from the wall onto the city. the castle. Uh, there's two parts to this castle. There's an old castle and a new castle uh, and this castle has basically been around since like the 11th century. Uh, there's fortifications all around uh, the city of Kamenets Podiski and uh, we're gonna walk around here check out there's like around 12 or 15 towers. So guys here's the uh, whole map of the castle. This is the view from one of the uh, walls. And you can see out over the river, there's a canyon here, the Smoltych River flows around the entire castle. Here's the old windows that they used to uh, attack the invaders out of. So these planks are pretty, uh, pretty precarious because they kind of give way when you're walking above them. Their case is pretty steep. I say that much. The cool part is each one of these towers has its own story and name. They're basically all marked uh, and they were all constructed at different times. I gotta say I practically wrote the Wikipedia article about this castle back in the day. I'll uh, link it down below for anybody that really wants to geek out and check it out. Here's the other half for the fortification walls. For most parts of the castle you can actually see the old town. That's where we just were. This tower is actually quite insane and it's very high up. Ouch, I just knocked my head on this beam. So this is the interior of the tower. It's very dark. But uh, yeah, the views are just spectacular. So many of these towers here in the castle are connected by the walls. I'm walking through one of them right now trying to Trying to find my way around this place. This is, uh, it doesn't look that big once you're inside, but there's a labyrinth of little tunnels and basements you could go inside. So there's the tower that we just came from. So it appears that it's gonna storm because I hear a lot of thunder in the skies. Yeah, so the lightning, I think, just struck one of these uh, towers here. Uh, yeah, the birds are going pretty crazy. I think it's gonna be a huge storm. 
but it's actually really cool walking around the middle grounds here in the castle because you kind of see how the old way of life used to be. Um, there's a cafe here and the workers in the cafe actually cut up pieces of wood, they throw it in a wood burning oven. It's all really old fashioned here. starting to rain a little bit but I walked outside of the castle itself and right here on the tower you could see the different kinds of colored rocks that they used over the years and that basically signifies every single time that the castle uh, has been rebuilt see every time somebody new conquered it they rebuilt it simply because this was an important uh, defensive uh, point on the trade routes in this part of what is now Ukraine. These holes in the walls here are from when cannonballs attacked the castle many centuries ago. When we just left the castle, it was really awesome. Um, if you are in Ukraine, I definitely recommend a visit to this part of the country. Uh, the entry fee was only like 40 grivnas uh, to see all the museums in town. That's like a dollar and a half. Hey guys, we just rested up for a little bit and uh, waited for the rain to die down. We're in the center of the city right now. This is one of the many churches uh, here in Kamenets. This is the Polish uh, neighborhood um, and this is the Roman Catholic Church. about this town is that uh, historically it was founded by three different uh, ethnic groups the Polish people the Armenians and the Ruthenians and that's why there's three different neighborhoods and each one has their own uh, church and like town hall buildings but there's also many other ethnic groups that also resided here uh, throughout the centuries For instance, we're walking through the Armenian district of the city right now. Honestly, standing on uh, the territory of where there used to be a church, but I believe the Soviets blew it up back in the 30s, of course. There's a bell tower, like I mentioned. Every, every one of these nationalities had their own little uh, corner of the city. First time I came here about 10 years ago, the city was uh, a little bit more in ruins, but now it's actually uh, being restored bit by bit. But I do believe there's a lot of potential for the city. It's honestly really beautiful.
walking along the bridge that connects the new city to the old city. This looks like a really good drone spot. But you can see the river and the canyon that it created all around that surrounds the city. A zip line here to take you across the canyon. It's pretty cool, only about 80 grievnas. I don't really know if I want to do that right now, but I might come back here in a day or two. All around the canyon, there's these uh, fortification towers and walls. That also serve to protect the city in addition to the uh, castle that we visited earlier. Um, unfortunately, this one's closed off. Well guys, I thought I'd wrap the vlog up today. We're just sitting down in a cafe getting some food and beer. Uh, hope you all enjoyed uh, today's uh, video from Kamies Podilski. Um, I know it was really exciting walking around uh, places that I've been when I was a little kid. Got some really cool shots. Uh, tomorrow we have a full day. Uh, I think we're going to visit a really cool cave monastery and also another castle in uh, this part of Ukraine. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here for more adventures from Europe. And I'll see you tomorrow.